All right, guys, we have a uh, challenge on the board. Um, this is King X Darius from Finland, and I'm going to play 45 because it's unrated. And he's rated 1401. Let's go normal and see what we get. Okay, three knights. Three knights. Let's do four. What the hell? Now, if the bishop comes out here, there is a trickety doodah, isn't there? And this idea of takes, knight takes, d5. So this is the Italian four knights. I actually did a uh, video on this recently. If he takes the, the knight, I play d5 with a fork on knight and bishop. And I don't think it's particularly... What the... Huh? Okay. Well, I'll take the bishop, eh? And now the knight. Wow. And material is equal, but he's made me move my king. The varmint. Okay. This is under attack and defended. My queen has no scope to come out here, here, or here. My bishop is hampered. Good find. I think d5 has to be played now, yeah? Let's get some tempo as compensation. And central control as compensation. It is Finland, isn't it? Yes. Alright, so one attacker and we are defended. I can develop my bishop with a pin. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. My other bishop might come here and just reinforce this pawn. Right now the queen's the only defender of... Oh, that's... That's terrible. Surely, surely, surely. Because e4. I'm attacking the pin piece. And you just invited me to do it. Okay. Well, that's a counterattack in spite. Bishop b7 to block the attack. Oh, <laughs> this is tactic central. This, oh my goodness. All right, hang on, let's think this through. Right, I'm in check. I take the knight. If queen takes my bishop, my knight can take there, so that's okay. If pawn takes my knight, I can take, ah, uh, I see, yes, 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 right. Truth, okay, but still, I get the bishop and my knight is defending. No, you should have taken the knight. You have to take the knight. Don't you? Wow, what a tactical bind. Okay, currently, I'm up a minor piece and I have two minor pieces under attack. Both by pawns. I have a check, but that's met with c3, and then I've got three pieces under attack. Um, here seems to be the best idea, I would say, because it comes with check, right? And if pawn takes, bishop takes, happy days. Okay, Oof. wow. What a bloodbath. So now I'm attacking both of these. God, what a bloodbath of a game. We're 13 moves in. And already, there's a whole mess now. I'm just toying with the idea of e3. Or do I just take the rook and have done with it? Take the rook, knight recaptures. The queen can't check me, so I'm thinking now rook f8, king g8. And we're up an exchange and a couple of pawns. And this knight is not in the ideal space, it has to be said. It's the worst place on the board that a knight can be because it's only controlling two squares. So it's little better than a pawn. Okay, I'm gonna get my king to safety. Not much to be done here. If I could put my queen here, I could force an exchange of queens. So let's come here. 
and harass this pawn or look like we're harassing that pawn. We're not really, it's defended anyway. But if I can put my queen here, I can force the queens off the board. It's only going to be good for me. I have a one pawn advantage on the queen side and I have a one pawn advantage on the king side. Now I have me a check if we want it. Here, my concern would be rook there, but then I just dodge the queen away and I think we're okay. That's undefended. Um, so to attack that, what do I do? Well, let's throw this in for now. I'll check from here. I just don't really need to line up. Okay, now this is defended only by a rook. That's defended only by a queen. So is that. King's got these. Queen's also defending that one. So that one's not under defended. Uh, I think ta strategically the point is going to be we just throw the pawns up. Just play skittles with these, yeah. Because Darius is significantly down in material. That knight is effectively also pinned because the queen's undefended. So I could even think about h5, h4. And what does he do? If I play h5, maybe I should have done that. If I play h5, he has to move the queen away. Ah, resigned. Okay, well, let's, let's do a rematch with the white pieces. Come on. Also unrated. Nothing to lose. And of course we're going Danish. No, that T's gone. Fortunately, I have this T. Okay, we have two pawns down. The semi-Danish. So first pawn is the centre game. Semi-Danish, full Danish, that's the way I'm working it out. Okay, and we obviously capture back with the fish. And here, we play knight D2. B, yeah, D2. Well, I don't approve. I don't approve of that move. And I'll tell you for why. It's because, look at the board, right? I'm already three pawns down. Black's already a pawn down, right? And um, so this board has got bishop fun written all over it. Right, first thought is this with a threat of checkmate. The way to defend that is either this or queen e7. So if I do that and queen e7, what is gained? Not a lot. So let's develop castle, engage the rooks, okay? Take advantage of the fact that we've got three semi-open files here because my opponent has gone full Pac-Man and gobbled up all my pawns. Okay, I'm not concerned about this because my queen's not on b3. I'm going to castle away. And he can't castle there because of this bish. You still can't castle there because of the same bish. But what about this idea now? Gets taken by the knight. You're quite right, well done. Uh, that was, I was testing you there, right? Um, so my thought is my rooks belong on these four files somehow, probably here, considering the king's there and isn't going anywhere in a hurry. So, um, yeah, rook f e1, push eddy, tradey, 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 trade, or even trade. Hmm. Rook a d1. Okay, my first thought is queen here. I wanted to get my queen off that file anyway. Uh, right now, if the bishop's allowed to take, I have to recapture with the g-pawn, and we don't like that, so I'm going to put my queen here. Might even put the queen here. The bishop's now under attack, has to do something. You don't want to give away bishops. Oh. Oh. Going long on me, are you? Is this a thought? It 
invites that, but also knight as well. This pawn, can my queen dive across this way? If the king castles, that's defended by the knight, the king's defending those. But he's going to be castling onto into semi-open territory. I'm not sure. Do we just dive in with pawns? And But it's super well protected, that. There, like a pawn t Well, that one... Okay, right, okay, hang on. Hold on, this one's pinned. If I go here, pawn takes. Yeah, let's do it. Pawn takes, bishop takes. This is just on the principle that my opponent's king is not castled, my king is. Let's bust, peel back some wigs and bust some caps. In fact, if this pawn takes, I even have this queen there, which forces the king to move, and that's going to hamper both rooks, at least one of them. So that pawn cannot really take, and that pawn cannot really take. Aha! That square's just crying out. Crying out. I can't put my bishop there, much as I would love to. I can put my pawn there, giving the queen only one square to run away. And that is going to hurt, right? If pawn is here, defended by rook, currently defended by bishop. Or do I just capture? And pawn is the only one. Oh, temptation. Right, pawn takes. Okay, I'm attacking this. I'm attacking. Okay, and now. No. Oh. Why wasn't that available before then? Yeah, because my pawn's out the way, and now my rook is looking at e6. And I think we are due a boom and a badder and another boom. That is just glorious. I think we might have to know, have another third, uh, third game. Wow, that was a beauty, wasn't it? Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. One for the road. Come on, Darius. God, I should have played rated, shouldn't I? Okay, come on, rematch. Let's go. Does he want a rematch? No. No, he's done. But, wow. Wow. That's a couple of very exciting games. Particularly this one. I mean, there, you know, there you go. I mean, I'm, look, I'm down two pawns, okay? But he, he castled long. Bad move. Because he's castling to all this territory and then, you know, lining up the king and the queen. Let's do a quick game review because I think that's just fascinating. I'd like to see what my accuracy was. Ninety-one. <clears throat> Three inaccuracies, no mistakes, no blunders. Oh, beauty. Right, let's have a go. So, I mean, you can see here that black gets the early advantage, but that's, you know, that's the way of the world with gambits. So here, it's all book. Right, now it's saying black is, you know, has is minus 0.8, right? So if if you were a computer, you would take black here because you can calculate as far and as deep as you want. Um, humans, not not so much. So, so he's up two pawns, and this is a book move. This is excellent. Black is now one in front, and that's a mistake. Yeah, I said I didn't like it at the time. Um, queen takes obvs, and now we're equal. Okay, because. He's just invested a move developing a bishop, and then he's just wiped his own bishop out. For the sake of what? A knight. And look at the board. This is the thing, right? White is one, two, three, ping, 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 pawns down, right? 
So this board is gaping wide open, right? And when you've got a board that's gaping wide open, you want your bloody bishops on the board, and knights become, yeah, they lose value. They literally lose value. Bishops grow in value. So Darius, mate, you, what you've just done with this idea is you've just traded off a piece worth about four from a piece worth about two, right? And you're currently, you were two pawns up, and, oops, you were two pawns up, right? And now it's equal again. And that's what the machine says. Machine says zero, zero, right? Because this board is made for bishops. Also, we have this idea, okay? So that's apparently a mistake. Really? Okay. Better move would have been develop. Develop and do the same thing, right? Then if, again, if bishop takes, queen takes, now, you know, you've, you've equalized a bit in terms of development and you've eradicated one of my bishops. So I'm not going to do that. So yes, definitely. If you can protect the pawn with development. So what I need to do is I need to protect the pawn. We know this, right? But pawn moves should never be the top of your list. Right, always first say, can I achieve what I need to achieve with development because we're in the opening? Right, so anyway, he does that. Knight f3 is excellent. Knight c3 is best. Castles it didn't like. Better would have been an immediate push in the center. Okay, but that is not what we did. What we did was castles. He's played knight g to e7. And that's a mistake. It should have pushed, opened up this bishop, right? Knight g to e7 um, blocks off the queen. So now the queen has no squares. I play my rook to e1 in accuracy. I would have been better to go. Oh! Rook a to e1. No, but I mean, that's very unintuitive because I was thinking my, this rook, my left hand rook, wants to be um, patrolling these potential squares. So we play that, and then he pushes d6. And now I pl play rook a to d1, but apparently that wasn't ideal either. Okay, c1, it says. Well, whatever. I do that. He brings out his bishop. Again, if you trade off that bishop, mate, you, you're just making life hard for yourself. Queen f4 is the only good move on the board, and I found it. Excellent. That's okay. Excellent. Queen takes f3 is best. Obvs. And queen, take, queen d7, best. e5 is best. Good. Very pleased about that. Oh, oh, oh. That's what it says. Oh, oh, oh. It's a blunder. Okay, because this is misses an opportunity to trade pieces. What you, what should he have done? What's best? Huh? Trading off pawns in the middle of the board when your king isn't castled. Okay, that's fine if you're a computer. For those of us who are not computers, uh, he castles. I do that, which is excellent. Was there an even better move? Capturing that way. Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, we've still got this on, haven't we? Um, yeah, but it's still a horrible, horrible position. So I take that, he takes back, it's excellent apparently. And that's a great move, there was only one good move and you found it. Well, it was kind of there and then we have resignation. So, wow, 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 wow. Hi, my name's Ben and I'm a Gambit addict. I love this, if, if only we had the same ideas for black that I could play every time, but uh, still need to work on all that. A lot harder when you've got the black pieces. But yeah, loads and loads of fun. King X Darius, thank you my friend for a couple of very, very enjoyable games. I hope you found them enjoyable. Hope you picked up one or two things as usual. Thanks for watching. See you soon.